You have to understand, there's more to this story that I know, but won't tell you. Even though you need to know. You'll just have to trust me, regardless of the fact that you have no reason to trust me. Now come on. Let's get out of here. Cut. Perfect. Nice, man. Come on out of the booth. Yeah? Good? Yeah, I nailed it. Thanks. Oh, man. Hey, are you okay? Yeah, I'm just beat. We had a rehearsal until uh, 2 a.m. Our new play opens up tonight, so I am about to run home and catch some Z's to have to be back at the theater. Which theater? The one downstairs? Yeah. Well, why go all the way home just to come back up here? Why you go in our conference room, crash on the couch? We can wake you up when it's time for your show. Yeah? Yeah. No problem. You sure? Why wouldn't we be sure? I, I don't... I mean, I don't know. I just... I just... You just right back in here, right? What are you doing? What's going on? Great! He's awake! I'm gonna get some more ice. All right. What are you doing to me? We are encasing you in ice. I'm freezing. Yeah, that's because of all the ice. But, now that you're awake, you can finally start your briefing. Briefing? Yeah. Okay, I got the ice. We can cover his head whenever you're ready. Well, that's exciting news. Wait, what? Why are you doing this? Because we are sending you to the future. What? Yeah. We're gonna cryogenically freeze you and then wake you up like you know, 30 or 40 years from now. Jeff. It's a great idea. Jeff, get me out of this box. No, silly. You've got to be in the box. That's where all the ice is. Okay, now look, when you do wake up in the future, you're going to have to find us, okay? Time Magazine says that Americans are becoming more racially and culturally diverse all the time. So the future version of me, probably not going to look like this. We did some computer simulations. I'm going to look something like this. Okay, now this is the important part. When you find me, you need to give me the following information. You need to tell me to go to the nearest stock market and buy stock in the following companies. Wait, A, that's... Google, B, Apple, C, whatever the company is that makes email. Wait, wait, that's not how time travel works. You have to send me back if, if you want to just... <sighs> He's not buying it. Yeah, listen, we knew you might not like the plan. What's in it for you, right? Okay, first of all, you get to keep the stock tips. Those are yours to use for free. And you can bet on any sports teams that you may remember. Another thing we're going to do for you is this. We're going to send you to the future with modern day currency, which by the time you arrive will be a valuable collector's item. Those are photocopies. Yeah, well, we spent our actual money on this box. This thing was expensive. Um, look, you guys seem to have uh, thought all this through, so why did... What do you guys go? Oh, come on. What, are you kidding me? You're the perfect candidate. I mean, first of all, you got a shaved head, right? In the future, they love that shit. And we all know that eventually America is going to be overtaken by China. You already speak Chinese. I don't speak Chinese. Oh, no? You spoke it pretty well at lunch today. Yeah. You were a Kung Pao chicken. Kung Pao. You're going to blend right in. Yeah. Dude, you're just going to be another half black, half Latino ball dude walking around eating and speaking Chinese stuff. Except you'll have the greatest stock tips in the history of mankind. And you'll have a pocket full of vintage currency. We're going to be rich. Let's hit the lid. Please. Please, don't do this. Oh, sh sh hey, look, 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 look. Just close your eyes and go to sleep. Just like being on a plane. You fall asleep, you wake up in Seattle. Except Seattle's the future. Hold your breath.